I am launching a counterattack. Yeah, on the so am Turco. I. Isn't it weird that the Austrians and Turks are on the same side against us? That doesn't happen too often. True. It's like the. But I mean, uh, that's like the First World War. The Austrians and uh, the Turks were on the same side. I. It's yes, actually pre pretty. This is almost First World War in terms of alliances. Yeah, if you yeah, think about it. it. Is. Spain. It's only that we don't have Serbia on our side, being uh, Serbia. Yeah. And we don't have United States of America joining in. After not yet. Two not wars. yet. True. They they might join in. Actually, that's what I am most excited about for that that patch that they are working on. <laughs> that the US is joining. You no, know, that that uh, great powers will care about crises that happen on other continents besides their own. So yeah, United States much... will will put you know. Oh god, this is a very that's poor a, battle. That's a US Holy speciality. Shit, that was a terrible battle. <sighs> oh, 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 minus almost six. And I thought that was my battle. No, this was my battle. It's almost as terrible. Yeah, we're not uh, having the best battles in the world, but I'm trying to retake Warsaw. So. Oh, hang on. One of those was mine. Yes. <sighs> Ooh. I, okay. I yeah, they kind of came out of the shadows there. <laughs> Didn't expect that. They came out of the shadows. They came from behind. You know, I was thinking of doing that, but. But you. Uh, I ended up not refrained. doing it. <laughs> I left Maybe it. I, to, I left it to you. Yeah. Maybe I should have done the same. Left it to someone else. Maybe. Well, on the good side, or in good, in good news, <laughs> France is doing okay, On the, although Fr Paris is under siege, which mm. is never a good thing if you're France. Um, <sighs> ooh. I, the Germans oh. have 189 brigades, and we have... Uh, how many do we have? 133 in total. The war <sighs> is not going well, though. Not going well at all and I'm being attacked in a Königsberg yeah and the the Austrians are launching a heavy def heavy offensive through western Ukraine oh although... that was a bad battle a, ba a good battle I mean <laughs> yeah yeah it was uh, they are actually reinforcing with or, or there was some army that I no longer see that was going towards your direction kind of through the back or so might be that one that was completely annihilated. I don't think so. No, I think it's there in... Uh, so not... No. It was about 40,000 men going towards your direction, so... Hmm. I think that it might have been split up into two smaller ones. Maybe. But I have no proof. Maybe I want I... proof, not leads. Oh, mobilization impact minus 5%. That would have been good, you know, before... Uh, but we can do a reform now in the middle of the war. So what should the reform? <laughs> Is it a social reform? Yeah. Uh, mm. It's a political one. We could do uh, a censored press instead. So political press. Well. Or we could do yeah. you know so only uh, on, that political parties are harassed and. Uh, <laughs> the ruling party harasses people into voting for them. Well, that's pretty good. I like the sound of that. How does that work? <laughs> I don't know, but it's either that or press rights, which uh, would be maybe... Because press rights will increase, uh, I think, uh, the amount of people going for, you know, liberals and stuff. And we need liberal government in order to... Well, in order to pass more reforms. Yeah, well... um Either that or maybe, uh, no, child labor we all had to restrict it. That's pretty much the best one they can do. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm up for censored press or... What do the people want? They want about... suffrage. Well, we don't give you suffrage. I suppose two-year draft would be a bit... Uh, yeah, well, I guess we need uh, the, the four-year draft for now, considering the wars and stuff. Yeah, exactly. I... Um, vote franchise. You no, I I feel like press rights is probably the best one okay, for now. Let's go for censored press, and hope that it will pay off once at one point or another. A heavy battle in Königsberg. My army there is uh, slightly damaged. That was a good battle as well. 
But Poland is uh, quickly being retaken, so that's pretty good. What? Oh. Can at least... Oh, the Austrians are amassing a pretty big army. I need to... <laughs> the Austrians are launching attacks now. Yeah, I know. It's, there's not many Germans left on this front. It's mainly Austrians. I, no. I would. Uh, oh God, the British are coming for Persia. I see, it seems. Ooh, yes. <gasps> so with that in mind, I think that you should take all the troops you have left in Cau Caucasus and focus on on Austria. I guess. Yep. It seems like I'm being. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> the British are marching through the Crimea. The Crimean War has but reversed. Which side is Romania on? I don't think they're no, on any no side, but they are... Because no one is on their side. Pretty much. We're losing troops, though. I did lose the Battle of Königsberg eventually. It was a, it was a hard-fought battle. It's a shame that it went the way it did. <laughs> well summarized. Um, yeah... The Austrians are a tough nut to crack. I feel like they are... Yeah, surprisingly stable, but... Surprisingly numerous, too. They have a lot of... But the Russian fleet, the Russian Imperial Northern Fleet, is blockading Germany's shores and ports. Oh, and I'm getting a lot of support from the British in... Well, actually, they're losing, but uh, in the uh, uh, Asiatic Sea... Or agency, I mean. Um, That's good. That's good. <laughs> I mean, basically, they're they are there, but that's about it. Holy shit! Things are not looking good for France, though, in France, nor yeah. in Spain. Yeah, I mean, when I said that they were looking better, it was mainly just that well, they finally got some troops. But oh no, now there's even a Turkish army there. Uh, yeah, France is getting pretty chewed. We need to put more pressure on the... Can't the enemy inv invade Ireland? That would be very <laughs> beneficial to us. Yeah, they don't have any ships. We're dominating sea-wise. Yeah. Oh, typical British. We rule the waves, but to no end. Oh, there's a good battle in... Uh, not Breskutovsk, <sighs> it's in Bialystok. Bialystok. I need to push back some troops here because they're skirting around my defenses and stuff like that. They are already reached Kharkov and Chernigov. That's not very good. We have one army in Kiev. It seems like, where are all the conscripts? It's 30% yeah, and, and I don't really... S oh, they have, you have 48,000 men now in, uh, in Rostov. is standing there. Uh... Yes. <laughs> Apparently I do. The Polish campaign. Ay, 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 ay. It's not good. The eight, 12th army is going to get annihilated. But we're getting a decent amount of, in, I suppose, Indian support, really, from uh, the British here. Well, that's good. That is good. I'm trying to win the the campaign here against in in, in Poland. I have against uh, our enemies. Oh yes. Yeah, but my my armies are pretty much reduced to to Poland. <laughs> reduced to Poland. Oh, terrible. Not necessarily, but I. Oh, the British. They have reached Kowal. Yeah. They have almost reached my front lines. Good. Good. Your front lines from behind. Uh, can I steal the 54,000 men army that you're marching uh, Well, sure. I, I mean, I'm doing pretty well in Turkey right now. Yeah, which is where... I was most think, uh, thinking of shoring up the the crack that they made in uh, the Kiev area. area so they yeah. Don't, uh, don't push any further, plus uh, I lost... Oh, wait, it's alive, but barely. Go to Riga, you're safe here. <laughs> Actually, he can stand there instead. He's safe. Uh, let's see what happens. Almost pushed out. 
It's almost like... Oh, wait, what is this? 5,000 men in Bavaria. Do you see that? Now they reached uh, Bohemia. Oh. Expeditionary forces. <laughs> the British are... I mean, they're, they're leaving the right France thing. to get swallowed and shooed. Ah, <sighs> France. Let's see, uh, is there any... The United Kingdom has uh, one requirement of acquire Alrif. Romanian liberation of Austria and Moldavia. The Romanians have joined the fray. Oh. Perfect. So that will pretty distract. good timing. Yeah, that, I mean... that might distract them a bit. So I think we will give them a bit of war subsidies for this. Yeah, why not? We have money. Let's play a bit of Britain and uh, and help money, people out. Hope that money will solve the problem. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna. I'm tempted to, to go for Istanbul. Oh, new research. Didn't the the, the Russians call it Sargrad or something like that? Istanbul? Yeah, I think they, they, I, I yeah, wanted to they, call it that or something. They do have some other name for it, I believe. Yeah, and we have research completed, so I guess more military, I'm assuming. Yeah, just even out the field. Yeah. I mean, the Germans have a clear advantage still. They have 235 brigades. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot. I am sending you an army your way towards Austria. <laughs> I like how this war is about Bohemia, of all things. Yeah. But I mean, you could call it... What, what would you say the First World War was about? In, like, the, the cause? The death of... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, the revenge of uh, the death of Ferdinand. No, but... Um, I don't know, I guess that's really... It, it's hard to summarize. The First World War, in a way, is more. Well, it's, pre it's pretty much it's pretty much the same here. Yeah. Pretty much, almost. But I stopped the siege of Königsberg. So, Kaliningrad is is saved. <laughs> uh, I don't like that they have a 39,000 men strong army here. Uh, I stopped your army marching here because it was about to run into a, uh, an Austrian army. Oh, it's now in Poland. Twenty-four thousand men. Oh, okay. I, hmm, I thought it was a bigger army, but yeah, I think it will just. Y you can take care of that one. Okay, I I will do my best. But the British oh. have uh, done a lot here for for clearing up the the east. You have another forty-two thousand men strong army in Rostov. I said a course for for Turkey for it. So you will get it. Oh, and I'm getting attacked in uh, whatever this place is called. It seems like now the Germans are diverting resources from uh, from France, even though France is still getting all kinds of massacred. So this is essentially the, the prelude for the real battle. The yeah. real war has yet to start. But at least Istanbul is taken. Yes, and I'm moving towards Sofia. And then towards Skopje and all those other places. Good, good. And I'm surprisingly winning it against the uh, Turkish navy as well, which is nice. Oh my. The Germans are a bit adventurous. France has landed <laughs> with an expeditionary force on uh, Crete. <laughs> which is... Amusing. Not exactly I mean, what to be... I'm, oh, I'm, God! I'm, I'm disappointed in the Sicilians. Well, I mean, they have no ships, so they have no way of getting anywhere. Yeah, well, just they destroy could at least the try, papal I mean. states. <laughs> I mean, what's the big deal? <laughs> the pa uh, papal states, which is uh, French swirling. Uh, it seems, though, that Sardinia Piedmont has swallowed Lombardia, so they're well on their way of creating... And they have created in Northern Italy, as you say. Yeah, that's pretty... I like that color. <laughs> yeah, Complimenting nice. them. It's a nice color. Now join us in this war, please. It's uh, quite nice, actually, being being two on the same country. 
because now I, I can just concentrate here and you'll take care of uh, sieging Ottoman Empire. Just, so uh, you'd th think, anyway. Yeah, so I'd think, but... There's no guarantees. I still, I still hold out hope for competence. <laughs> Let no man look at the sky filled with hope. Oh god. No, let's look at all the Germans that are pouring in here. Ugh. I, I need to uh, retreat a bit. British can do whatever they want in, in Austria, but I need to pull back a bit and consolidate my forces. Because they're a bit spread out, and I am... There's two armies in Memel, which might get... Uh, well... Encircled, as you say. So I need to escape with it before they are caught. It's the... Uh, what's it called? Evacuation of Dunkirk? <laughs> well... Evacuation of, of Memel. And how's Warsaw doing? Uh, Warsaw is doing fine at the moment. Uh, but and you have some support there from the British too. They're doing a pretty good job. Surprisingly, I have support from the British. In South Poland. Yeah, yeah, in Southern Poland, in Krakow and so on. Krakow. Good battle of Ka Kaunas. A German army is facing ex extinction. Extinction, but it's been surviving for so long. That freaking German army. And 30,000 men ready to shore up the front lines. The question is, can I defeat this army? Oh, this is an excellent battle. Against the Germans as well. No more, no less. This might be a pretty decent battle over here as well in uh, Badam. Radom, I mean. <laughs> Ooh, the two Sicilies is um, in <laughs> invading Cyprus. Good for you. And they have invaded uh, the Baleares. Ooh, well, actually, France has done a decent job in Africa for now. Yeah, they, they've taken Libya and uh, Tunisia. Yeah. So uh, in, in this context, places that does not matter. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to find good things that France has done. Uh, I'm trying to be nice. To I, I understand, but... It's just, it's just pointless. Yeah, you can't, can't argue with facts. France is <laughs> not doing So hard well. on, on France. France. Poor France. <laughs> and the Germans are rebuilding their fleet, which is... Uh, Did they ever have one? Uh, well, I guess at some point, until the British <laughs> smashed it to bits. The problem is just that, you know, we can stand for as long as we want, but if the French decide that it's not, you know we're fighting anymore then there will not be any more fighting well yeah we're we're fighting against the clock basically and the clock happens to be french yes so Ooh, that's a good <laughs> the clock happens to be french you need you need to add another thing which means like it will be inaccurate yeah oh news from argentina well news from uh, the front there's battles and quite a lot of battles now, outside of uh, Eastern Prussia. Holy Ooh, shit, uh, one battle here is going so terribly wrong that I'm... <laughs> France has launched an invasion of Southern Austria, which is amusing. <laughs> Southern Austria. I like that France has like, abandoned regular France, but continues in other places with obscure projects. Yeah, but the problem is here that the Germans are massacring Austria, uh, I mean Russian forces, left, right, and perhaps also sometimes in the center. I'm sending 9,000 troops your way. I guess this time we can do... I mean, the suffrage movement is getting a bit annoyed, so I think we should appease them so we avoid some sort of rebellion. Yeah, that wouldn't be very good at the moment. We have enough on our plates. Okay, so now there will be voting. Ugh. That's uh, also one of the things I'm looking forward to in the, the patch that they're working on. Not having to deal with that. Oh, I guess we, we, we are playing in the HPM, so we don't have to care too much about that. The French government has been evacuated to Corsica. <laughs> they have to live out their days there. Like Napoleon, only a bit closer. Uh, but Turkey, at least, has been completely annihilated. Yes, utterly vanquished. But I don't think uh, 
trading trading France for Turkey is, is not a very good deal. No, it's not. Ugh, the here. Dutch Navy. This is not the best general for attacking, but I kind of need to do some attacking anyway. Oh, well, France has launched uh, an invasion of uh, Spain. Oh, really? Yeah. How do they manage this? <laughs> I'm not sure where those true. Oh, or, or they African. Maybe, maybe oh, they're probably yeah, from they are. Africa. Yeah. But they are too little and very late. <laughs> very late. I wouldn't say too late, but very, very late. They're not enough. I say that now and I will have to... Okay, so we have semi-constitutional uh, monarchy now. So we have elections coming up. Which uh, will have to uh, go the way they go. Because I'm not interested in, in, you know, having to deal with all those events. How is the war? <laughs> how, how goes the war? In, uh... in the... Up here it's going actually fairly well. The Germans seems to be... I guess they walked away <laughs> somewhere else. At least for the uh... moment. We have a bit of an advantage. They do have quite a few troops that are coming. Oh, down. No, we don't actually. Never mind. Just looking at the wrong. The 1865 elections. I'm not going to bother with those. The only problem is that the Germans are not really opening themselves up to any really attack since they have fairly strong armies. And, uh, you know, I'm not really attacking unless I have like a double their army or something. Actually, I thought this army was stronger than it was when I attacked. Never mind. Oh, there, oh. Were, free, there were peace, uh -huh. but we uh, lost <sighs> as a result. Let's see, what was the peace deal? France accepted the peace offer from uh, German Empire. White peace, I'll go to hell. Not, uh, white peace? We fought this long and hard for a white peace, oh well. I went to Turkey for your sake. Pretty much, pretty <laughs> much. 